Hey guys, electrically 46 here, back with another Blender tutorial video. Last video I showed you how to do a water spout tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a lightning text effect. So, delete the default cubes I just did there, and create a text. Also, we're going to change it to cycles render. So, make a text, and to rotate it, hit R, X, 90. Then I'll rotate it up so it's standing up. Sorry. Um, what you're going to do next is you're going to go into the text modifier, which will be up here as an F, and you're going to set the extrude value to 0.2 or maybe 0.1. I don't know. You can mess around with how, um, how uh, wide you want it to be. Something like that's good. And set the depth of value to about that much and enter in your own text. So I'm going to do shock. And to edit the text, all you have to do is enter tab, which is the edit mode. All right, so now what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to activate the IV generator add-on. And you're going to go to user preferences, add-on, and site search IV. Check that. and. Now, you're, to create the IV, it's going to appear where the 3D cursor is, so you're going to put it above the text. Or actually, in this case, we're going to put it inside the text so it appears that there, it's just like lightning text. So we're going to start with the O. And we're going to hit Shift A, and we're going to go Curve. But as you can see, it doesn't let us because the text is not a mesh. So to fix that, all you have to do is go Option C and hit mesh from curve meta surf text alright so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the 3d cursor in whichever letter you want and hit shift a go curve and add ivy to mesh it should grow around the a like so or o like so whatever letter you have and now you uncheck grow leaves and you'll see it still has the square which it calls leaves so you're gonna hit update ivy and now rendered and it'll look like that and so we need to change a few things here first of all we're gonna change the adhesion to one next we're gonna set the size the length to three and the size to about 0.5 and that's all you need to change and you're gonna go update ivy and you'll see it kinda wraps around now, if you want it to wrap around even more, you can set the adhesion to 2. Update Ivy. It'll wrap around even more, but you'll see it kind uh, of um, spikes out. I don't know how to fix this just yet. I'm still learning how to fix the spikiness of it. Uh, so... I don't know, you can play around with that to try and get a good uh, thing like that. But if you don't like it, you can select the IV, hit X, and delete. Reselect the text, and maybe put it right there. Because the IV grows up, and you get the point. Add IV to mesh, and that should wrap around the O for the letter you're on. If you want, you can set it below and add new ivy and that'll add it again so now you have nice uh, ivy there so next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna just repeat that with all the letters so I'm gonna go under the C here that I made and just create ivy and that'll wrap around like that let's make one under the K Uh, that, like that. Um, if you want, you can uh, kind of add more, whatever you want, just to get it to show the full letter. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, that is a lot on the K though. So if you want to change this, you can um, go to the size 
and that'll just make it all like that but maybe you don't want that so you just update IV again and it should change right back and now you're just gonna continue to do this with all of them so I'm gonna go ahead and add this and hit a new default IV no sorry uh, well actually that works too so that's pretty good for our H and next what you're gonna wanna do is just do the next letter next letter next letter it's just kind of a repetitive process So there we go. And now to set the material for the IV, all you do is select the IV and go to materials. You're going to select the first one and you're going to go use nodes and emission. So that will make a glowing effect. And that uh, looks enough like lightning, so that's why I did it. And you want to change it to maybe a blue color. You can mess around with all the settings and you're just going to change the emission or whatever you want to lower so it's still so you can still tell it's blue but too blue something like that's pretty good that kind of color if you want you can enter 4685 and then capital E7 and that will get you the color that I'm using and then just enter a strength of 11.5 so next what you're going to want to do is you're just going to set the material for all of them. Alright, so now once we got all that done, you'll see that you have a nice shock text and you can set the background to black and you'll get that effect but if you want it to show through you check the text and uneye for both the render for both render and that so once it renders once it renders you won't be able to see the uh, actual letters that's wrapping around but you will see able to see the outline of the thunder text. And now you just um, view from camera view and block camera view and just set it to the view you want. And now set, go into the render settings and go sampling and raise it to 50. And now you're going to render out the image. Alright guys, um, that concludes it for this tutorial of shock text, lightning text. Uh, subscribe for more, and if you like the video, be sure to leave a like and comment. Follow me on Google+, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!